We're at Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, this is your first time in Oregon. This is my first time in Oregon, yes. Way to do it right. Yeah, I've been to Oregon, Illinois uh, a lot of times. <laughs> my family's actually from, ironically, Oregon, Illinois. Your family's from there too. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at this. So we have vol just volcanoes all over the place. First of all, this is a volcano. This so is the Cra yeah. Crater Lake is a volcano. It was 12,000 feet high. It exploded 7,700 years ago. And the explosion blew the top off. Blew, of the well, didn't, well it, didn't, it, it collapsed down. So it, it destroyed the foundation. It blew up the foundation. The whole thing fell down. Yeah. yeah. And created Crater Lake, which is 1,900, almost 2,000 feet deep and the deepest lake in the United States. Well, there's the island uh, called Wizard Island, which is a new volcano that formed two or 3,000 years ago. Uh, I thought it was closer to the collapse, but anyway, it was, this whole thing was during human time period. Mm -hmm. And so they had, in the movie, in the visitor center, they interviewed, uh, a First Nationer who said that they actually still verbally tell a story from 7,000 years ago. It was a story of a great fight between the spirits of the underworld and the spirits of the overworld. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Behind me, um, I wanted to just stop for a second, aside from the cool cloud, uh, but you can see the mountain ends and we drop back. So that's looking east, and that's the west part of Oregon where we're going to be heading today and we're heading down to California to go to another volcano. The PCT is right on the western edge of the park. If you're walking up the PCT, you can take a side trail over to Crater Lake here. I don't think it's that far. Here's a good view of... Is that me? Yeah. Was that mine? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, look at the ice. Careful. Yeah, There's a lot of ice. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is when my heights, fear of heights comes. Look at how beautiful that blue is. Uh, so the blue, they talked about the blue. This is the clearest lake, if not the clearest lake in the world. Something it like that. It set the Guinness World Record for clearest, clearest lake. Yeah. In the world. And that's because world. it's completely fed by snowfall and rain. There are no rivers in or out. And uh, what else does that say to that? Uh, it's just There's like trillions of tons of water. Here. Yeah, just undisturbed. 2,000 feet down of water. Um, 44 feet of snow a year. That's right. Look at that little observation tower over there right behind where yeah, you're Yeah, I saw that. Picture. It's like a bunker. Yeah. Yeah, that would be sweet to... to so, uh, sorry, this is just so wild. Uh, it's six miles across, I think we said that, four miles at the thin point. But this is part of the mountain, right? So the, the original mountain, you know, is up. We're only, what, 7,000 feet, I think. So Zama it's... Mountain or something. So the original mountain would be 5,000 feet above us and these are the shoulders of that mountain of the the volcano so it was comparable to mount rainier or mount shasta yeah or, but it would be taller they, they say they, they claim it would be although rainier is like i didn't think they 14. said that it was taller maybe it was the tallest point tallest oregon. in oregon yes yeah. it would have been the tallest in oregon because yeah, rainier is taller yeah um but yeah this is a big big explosion and then it fell down in like three hours yeah, right. So it took uh, what did it say like half a million years to, to, to build up through lava build. Yeah, through the layers of lava build to build it up, and then it was imploded in a matter of three hours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this is a big, big caldera. Uh, it's not considered a dead volcano. It's just considered inactive and it has the possibility of uh, changing its mind. As volcanoes glub glub bubble bubble. To do. 
And there are, you know, this is a whole string of volcanoes up and down Oregon. 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 We're out here in Oregon. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we, we should end with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Hike 360. Woo! Like and subscribe. We got more coming. All right, so we've walked. I mean, we, we are not allowed because it's all closed. We can't cover a whole lot of the park. Uh, so we're just covering kind of up. What is this? Rim the, Village. Rim Village. Yeah. Pretty much limited to hanging out at Rim Village. And I wanted to reiterate, this was only 7,700 years ago, which is within human history. I just came from... Dinosaur National Monument yeah. and everything there was 149 million years old. That's when those dinosaurs were died on the riverbank and then were swept downstream and then underwater and buried and then they had the chance to petrify. And that's how they were preserved. Um, and you said uh, Yellowstone? So this is the largest volcanic eruption in the last half a million years. And they can say that statistic because Yellowstone exploded, erupted uh, 620 million years ago? 620? 80, 620, something in like that. In the 650s. Yeah. Let's call it 650. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. 660, just for good luck, right? Anyways, yeah, it's Yellowstone uh, erupted and it was a bigger eruption. All right, so we brought in humankind or human timeline eruption. Yellowstone, crazy huge eruption, and dinosaurs, which of course died out 60 million years ago. So the, after this eruption, what's amazing is this was all worthless land, mm -hmm. right? This was all ash and totally burned and buried and lobbed 